Hey guys, welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set a locked screen wallpaper using Intune or Endpoint Manager. So in here, I've logged into my Microsoft 365 Admin Center using a global administrator account. And I've um, gone to Endpoint Manager Admin Center by clicking Endpoint Manager under Admin Centers, or you can directly go into endpoint.microsoft.com and log in either using um, a global administrator account or an Intune administrator account. So I'm just going to switch back to Dashboard um, so I can show you how it's done from the beginning. Um, so once you've logged into your uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, click on Devices, scroll down under Policies, look for Configuration Profiles, click on Configuration Profiles, and click Create Profile. In here, you have to select the platform. Now, in this tutorial, I am using a Windows 10 virtual machine, so I'm going to select Windows 10 and later. And under Profile Type, I'm going to select a template, and I'm going to select Device Restrictions. So once you've made those selections, go ahead and click Create. Give uh, this profile a user-friendly name. I'm going to say Locked Screen Wallpaper. All right, you can give it a description if you like. Hit Next. And in here, under Locked Screen Experience, you will see the setting Locked Screen Picture URL Desktop Only. So this is where you have to set up or you have to insert the URL of the image or the wallpaper that you want to be used as your locked screen for your Intune enrolled devices. Now, in this example, what I'm going to do is I'll let me just go to Bing uh, wallpaper um, and I'll um, just pick a random picture from here. Okay, this is the actual installer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of these um, images. Okay, let's go ahead and copy image address. Okay, and I'll just come here and paste. All right, you need to make sure that it is in the right format. So, okay, so unfortunately this is JPEG-MV, that's the format. We're looking for something with just JPEG. So let me just, or it could be .png as well. Um, let me just select another wallpaper here. Okay, let's go ahead and select this one. I like this one. All right, so right click on it, copy image address, come back and paste the link here. It looks perfect. So it's JPEG, um, it should work. Also PNG should also work. Um, okay, so that's all done. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Okay, so I want this to be added to all devices. So in here, I'm going to select all devices. Now, if you want to um, exclude a certain set of users and apply this for a, a set of users, you can also add exclusions in here. But just for this example or this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'll select all devices and hit next. You can set certain rules here if you wanted to. Um, depending on OS version or edition, but I'm not going to do any of that. So I'm just going to um, proceed to the next stage. Uh, that's it. So our URL for that image has been selected. Now, when you put the URL for the image, make sure um, that um, it is um, not a copyrighted one. Um, just make sure that whether you're putting your company logo or something, make sure that it's publicly available on your um, public website or your intranet, uh, just so that it is accessible for um, Intune um, to get that picture. All right, so this is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and click Create. 
It'll take a couple of seconds. All right, wonderful. So the device configuration profile has been set up. Now, this is my virtual machine. Um, at the moment, as you can see, this is the Windows default lock screen. Now, hopefully, once the um, device profile um, settings have been applied to this device, uh, the lock screen should um, show the image that we just put on. Um, this can take a little while, so I'm not going to um, let the video run for that long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for now, and once um, it changes, uh, I'll come back and um, continue the video. Okay, so um, it took a couple of minutes. Um, and now let's go ahead and see if it has been applied. So I'm going to lock my screen. Yeah, as expected, um, the image has been set as the Windows locked screen. So there you go. Now you know how to um, set a Windows locked screen image or a wallpaper to your heart's content. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you um, watching these videos. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Like, comment if you've got any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, until next time, take care, guys. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.